I'm, that's the world I seem to live in lately. Well, since I was little, but there's a lot of people seem to always talk about, like Michael Newton, about coming down here on Earth, and we pick our families. You do vibrationally. Mm -hmm. Pick everything vibrationally. Right, right. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's because from non-physical, mm -hmm. in absence of resistance, you make deliberate choices about what you think is the best platform from which you will launch your creative experience here. So the things that really matter to you are available to you in that springboard that you call birthplace, so birth family. So let's talk about what happens on the other side. I mean, it seems like Michael Newton talks a lot about that. I'm, I'm, and I'm in that world too. I do hypnosis myself too. And he speaks that when we make our transition, we go back to our families of pots and um, we plan our lives. Well, the thing about that is, is that you reemerge immediately into the vibration that is you, but it's expanded. You're not going back, you're going forward. It sounds like back because you were there and then you were here, but it's not back because that part of you never left there. Right. That part of you never yeah, left leave there. A part behind. That yeah. part of you never left there. And so yeah. as you come and expand, then the expanded version of you returns to all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then um, we seem to plan our lives coming back down here. But then you've talked about that there really is no plan. Well, instead of using the word plan, let's use the word intend. In other words, who okay. you are and the vibration that you're offering. We made an attempt at explaining this a few minutes ago. So we're going to circle back around and do it again because okay. we want to help you to realize mm -hmm. that you don't create through action. You create through point of attraction. Right, right. And when you come into this physical body, you come with intention. Correct. But the intention expands and evolves as a result of your participation here. Okay. Yeah. So it's not quite the way you are describing it. So are we responsible for our actions? Because I know I had a conversation with someone else. And I'm a firm believer that, yes, we are responsible because that's the life that we choose to come down here. Then there's that karmic reaction that we all seem to have. Like, let's say we had a past life and we were horrible, let's say, and we go back and it was meant to be, but now we have to come back. And so Here's the flaw in that okay. premise. So when we talk about source and the vibrational place, for lack of easier way to just say it quickly, that you have come from that vibrational non-physical being is non-resistant pure positive energy liquid love pure positive energy pure intent and pure desire and worthy beyond description and eager to continue the creative process so then a part of that comes into this physical time space reality and is the personality that you know as you and so to the degree that you are in alignment with who you are you are living joyful moments to the degree that you're resisting who you are you are living less than joyful moments but that's as big as the badness gets in other words there is this stream of goodness which you allow or don't in any moment in time but when you make your transition back into non-physical, you stop the resistance and you are purely received by non-physical. And so it's like the non-physical was the clearing because you left behind all of the resistant parts. That's why the notion of karma and redemption is so skewed. It is inaccurate. It cannot possibly be because that would say that you take all of that with you and you don't that would say that that high flying vibration would also include those lower vibrations and it can't it's vibrationally inaccurate it's vibrationally impossible that's not the way that it is but humans try to explain bad things that they see in all kinds of ways and so there are a lot of interpretations about things like that that cannot be
And so the karma will go along with that in the sense that you come and you expand and you become and you come again, but you're coming not to climb the rungs of the karmic ladder. You come again for the joyous creating because that's who we all are because creation is what we do because expansion is inevitable because in the eternalness that is us, nothing else makes sense. Does it? No. Yeah. So it's more like a learning process that we're coming down here more, not no, just to experience, not, a learning it's not to learn. Of course all. you learn, you can't help it, but you're not coming for the learning. You're coming for the joy. No learning at all. There's this triad of intentions that you come in on freedom and growth and joy. Mm -hmm. And that's the basis of who you are. You're so free. You can choose bondage and growth is inevitable. So you come for the joyous experience, but all of it is part of what you have. So there really is no planning involved as we ask that. As yes, I there is. Talk, there is. Yes, there is. There's the plan to live happily ever after. There's the plan to feel who you really are. There's the plan to discover what's new. There's the plan to feel more momentum. Mm -hmm. There's the plan to be of value. There's the plan to help others experience heaven on earth. There's the plan to be in the moment. There's the plan to feel your empowerment. There's the plan to be physical and to be tangible. There's the plan to translate vibration into something that's even more tangible source right. seeing. Imagine that source being in an environment with all this beauty to see. Right. Yeah. There's a plan. There's, there's a plan. an intention. So there's an intention of picking our family for a pro purpose. You know, this particular group, I picked my parents, you know, they're well, you're not here. a puppet on a string from even those intentions because those intentions are general and you feel the specifics in because mm -hmm. that's what's fun. Okay. So if I wanted to experience, like I said, more metaphysical being in contact with that's all my own planning as I came down here to experience for the joy of it. You know how you can tell that you're on your life purpose plan. That's a good question. Yeah. By the way you feel right. on your path. The happier you are, the more you are satisfying that so-called plan that you keep insisting on calling it. Okay. <laughs> and the worse you feel, the more off the path you are in the moment. So yes, of course there's intention, but the thing that you're pointing us toward and we're refusing to go okay. to is that you're wanting to assign a plan that must be followed. And we're wanting you to understand it was this broad and powerful, but general plan that you are creating the specifics of here from this format. And the closer you are to those non-physical intentions, the better you feel. And, oh, this is the part that we want to tell you the most. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> if you want to call it a plan, do. We want you to know that every day you live, that plan evolves. And that's the way we've been describing it. That as you sift through this environment and know what you don't want, you launch rockets and who you are becomes that more. And so as that more happens vibrationally, not future tense, but present tense, it is a reality that now exists. Now you get to experience the deliciousness of catching up with that newly plotted plan. That's good. It yeah, is that's good. good. That's good. Very good. Yeah. So basically when like the lady was talking about astrological charts and things like that, just it's fun to play with, but it's not really We're not asking you ever to discount anything because there's value in everything. And sometimes some of those things that we're really not talking about a lot from this platform, they were exactly on your path along the way. In other words, they were the next logical step for you because it caused you to realize that there was something more and it made you think about you before you were here in this physical body. And it introduced to you the idea of intentionality. And it made you realize that you are much more than you see here in this physical body. There was value in that, but eventually we want you to get around to the acknowledgement of your own guidance system. And once you click into that knowledge, everything else that you're using as guidance is less significant to you and you can't go back. There's no regression. In other words, religion's just fine as long as it leads you to your own alignment. But if it replaces your alignment, it's not so fine for you.